Let's go. And we will see. This is Shola Boy today. Today is the Friday that, uh, well, it's actually second, not the first Friday. Second Friday in the month of September. Uh, today is Friday 8th, September 2023. And our discussion being about redemption in Christ and the fact that today actually we are celebrating the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's why I picked on this sunflower to be my background because Jesus Christ is the son of righteousness. And honestly, I actually love this particular uh, sunflower because for the first time, now my wife is able to tell me to stop calling them Akintola Taku because this one actually blossomed very uh, beautifully. Uh, so I'm excited that your live boy today is being recorded in front of this sunflower, this day that we celebrate the nativity of the blessed Virgin Mary and, uh, you know, of Jesus Christ, his son, the son, I mean, her son, the son of righteousness, and our topic being redemption in Christ. We'll be reading from the epistle of Paul to the Galatians in chapter 4. Very few verses we'll be reading from there, from the fourth verse. Are you set? Let's go now. But when the time had fully come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our heart, crying, Abba, Father. So through God, you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then an heir. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, it's uh, interesting that um, the Daily Fountain opted to take this reading, celebrating the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary from... Uh, from the, the uh, epistle of Paul to the Galatians. Uh, and uh, well, reasoning and looking at it all over, perhaps or almost assuredly it's because the Galatians were a people that Paul had to write to after he had been part of the establishing of the church there. He had perhaps even pastored a little while. And uh, after his departure, and after his immediate influence, some people went there and started preaching something else, making the people of Galatia believe more in the law of Moses than in that great provision that Jesus, I mean, that God had made that salvation should be through Jesus Christ, faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. And that was why when he was writing to them, he was wondering, who had bewitched you, Galatians? Ought you not to have known? Did he not live the way the prophets had said he would live? Is Isaiah not clear enough? Is Micah not clear enough that um, he would uh, bear all the uh, load of the world upon his shoulders and uh, he would be the prince of peace and all that? And so that was the message in the epistle of Paul to the Galatians so that they could recognize that the redemption they had was no more in the law 
it was in Christ. And that redemption plan that God established as far back as more than 2,000 years ago, perhaps running to about 2,000 and uh, uh, five, six years ago, is because the law was no more what God would use in justifying man. God himself recognizing that man could not cope with satisfying all the dictates of the law. That's why he sent his only begotten son to come into the world, to walk the way of the law, to show the perfection in it, to simplify it. And that's what Jesus Christ himself did. He simplified the entire law and all the ordinances, the Decalogue and the several ordinances attached that you'll find from Exodus chapter 20 into all of the books of Leviticus, that everything is about love. Love God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your soul, and then love your neighbor as yourself. That's what the uh, redemption in Christ is all about now, that the redemption that God will want for you is not about practicing the law per se anymore, but once you have faith in Christ, then the Holy Spirit would also be in you and with you to guide you into doing all those things that will please the Lord, and then the Lord will have you justified with him. So redemption in Christ is what we preach today. And if you are not in Christ, then all I need to do is to invite you to also come to be in Christ because it's only in him that there is redemption. It's not in any religious practices. It may shock you. It's not even about how nice ordinarily that you are that does not have a root in love from God and by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Because some people, yes, they do certain nice things to others, but just for showcasing how rich they are and for ulterior motives. That's not what the love of Christ is all about. And that's not what redemption in Christ would lead you to do. So once you have redemption in Christ, the Holy Spirit will inhabit you. You will do those things that are righteous in the sight of the Lord. And he will continuously bless you all the days of your life. So why don't you come to get that redemption in Christ right now. That is the son of righteousness whom we celebrate today. Being the nativity of the blessed Virgin Mary. Are you set for that experience of giving your life to Christ? Then say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I want to give my life to you. I want redemption. And I've been told that redemption is in Christ. Therefore, forgive me of all the sins of the past. As I accept you as Lord and Savior today, I pray that you also accept me as one of yours. I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of those who believe in the Son of Righteousness. And that is Jesus Christ our Lord. And you need to find the Bible believing church where your redemption in Christ can be sustained. And you can go on that path of a growth in Christ. And you know that all can just continue to be better for you by the day. So you need to find a Bible believing church where you can grow in that faith. I always recommend that if you happen to be in Oshobo, Oshun State, Nigeria, come straight to the Anglican Church, Uruki Estate Extension. For now, we are still in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle High School. So when you come and go to Nibodi Drive, Uruki Estate Extension, Oshobo. We are building our permanent site. Please join us to do that. But until that permanent site is ready, you can worship with us every Tuesday for our midweek services. Five o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesdays and nine o'clock in the morning on Sundays. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. As you go now, let us say this prayer together. Say, Dear Father, deliver us from the cause of the law by the faith in Christ Jesus. Give us the grace to tap into that provision that you have made already for our deliverance, for our salvation, for our redemption in Christ, that the Holy Spirit may therefore inhabit us and lead us along that sustained path of redemption. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So, as you go out today, remember that redemption is in Christ alone. And don't forget to drop something in the bank account details 
that you are either seeing on the screen right now or you had seen before or you'll be seeing shortly. God bless you. Thank you.